My Lords, it is a huge honour and privilege to follow the noble Lord, Lord Bragg. I know that sometimes as a pro forma that people say in these debates, but his has been a reassuring voice throughout my life, informing, educating and entertaining. He's a genuine polymath. Uh, as I discovered when I once appeared uh, on the anniversary of the Great Charter on uh, his show, he's one of those people who can take your special subject and argue as though it were also his, and his has been a life of public service. And I don't think anyone, has, any, any one of us here is going to disagree with the strengths that he identified in our national broadcaster. Uh, the question is whether, and it's implied in the motion of the debate, the question is whether those strengths depend on more government support and more government subsidy. Very often, government support, it's always well-intentioned, ends up having a very different effect. There was a time in this country when it was thought that it was the role of the government to install telephones, to manage airlines, to uh, build cars. Those things didn't work out very well for the same reason that some of the rival broadcasters that the noble Lord Lord Bragg mentioned are outperforming some of the older ones in terms of audience share. So the question, it seems to me, is how do we preserve the strengths of our national broadcaster while allowing it to enter into an age of streaming and Netflix and YouTube and all of the other uh, new innovations. I don't think my uh, children are ever going to own a television set. It's just not how young people uh, expect to watch programmes these days. And to them, the idea of a, a, a poll tax on the population belongs, as it literally belongs, to a previous century. It made perfect sense when there was only one broadcaster. It is much more difficult to justify today. Now, this is not, there's, there's always been a sort of traditional attack on the BBC uh, that has come from some in my party on grounds that it's biased, it's partial, and so on. It's a, it's a line of reasoning that goes all the way, way back to uh, Thomas Jefferson's observation that it is sinful to force a man to furnish money for the propagation of opinions which he disbelieves. I hope it's still okay to quote the third president as his uh, statue comes down in New York City Hall. I think he, o o on this, uh, had some useful things to say, but that isn't really my argument today. I don't think it matters nearly as much. The, the big flag show news and current affairs programmes have been losing audience share. There is now a multiplicity of broadcasters out there and out of a, a, a cacophony of differing interpretations we can usually uh, discern something close to the truth. We've got that pluralism that is so necessary to impartiality. No, the problem simply is that we are trying to defend a 20th century beer mod as though the technological changes of the last generation hadn't happened. And the question for the BBC is whether it can, if you like, retrench and defend what it does well, rather than squandering its resources and its capital, defending things which are no longer sustainable. Do we really need a state broadcaster, for example, uh, engaging in local radio. That seems to me an area that was perfectly well served by the private sector before. Do we need all these unbelievably unfunny comedy programmes uh, on BBC Two uh, and on Radio Four? Are they a core part uh, of what makes us uh, uh, a nation shaped and defined by this relationship? Or can't we retrench and make the line more defensible? We, say, we still have, what, five, six years left with the existing funding system, I hope, that figures within the corporation will use those years to think imaginatively about how to go with the changes rather than being dragged, kicking and screaming into the modern world. If there is a future for a state broadcaster, it will be as a more agile, cheaper and apter broadcaster to the demands of our current age. Yeah. 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 My Lords, I am very grateful to